What's up all you ghosts and ghouls, my name is Haunter Chad and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Grave Grabber from Spirit Halloween. Yet another Spirit Halloween prop. I wonder if we're ever going to get to any of the Morris costumes or Lowe's or anything like that soon. For now, I guess we're just going to keep looking at these. I got one more after this one. Let's get a good look at this box here. So we got the picture of the Grave Grabber right there. He's looking very vibrant, actually, and it's really nice. Here it says Grave Grabber. Here it says creepy light up eyes and terrifying sounds. Animated arms and a moving mouth lifts up one foot tall. Alright, let's get down on the ground here and start pulling everything out of the box here. Let's go ahead and open it up like this. There we go. So, first thing we got is instructions. Here are the clothes and the mechanism put together. Um, I usually check these out before I review them, make sure that they work and whatnot. So, let's, I'll go ahead and show you all the mechanism here. There's your mechanism right there. And, as you can see, it's kind of partsy. <laughs> It's actually one cohesive piece. I'm joking about the partsy part. Anyway, here's the clothes. There we got the arms right there, looking very nice and gross. Got the creepy head. And your AC adapter. Get this box out of the way. This is one of the easiest setups too, so we'll just put the base right there. We're going to take his clothes and we shall put them on. And there is Velcro on these clothes too, so it makes it a little bit easier on. Kind of have to bend stuff around and it'll, the mechanism will move around a little bit too. So once you get that on, just sit it right there and it already looks pretty creepy. Now we're gonna take his left arm here and by Seasonal Visions, you can tell that this is made by Seasonal Visions just because it has the hook and fork thing right there. So you got the fork and the two holes. So you do that. Same thing over here. You see there's little Velcro pieces right here too. So there's Velcro on the arms right there. So you can just roll up the sleeves and then attach the Velcro pieces together. There you go. Do the same thing on the other side here. And there you go. Voice over Chad here. So as you can see, the head has a spring lock on the jaw and you just attach that to the front, kind of like every other Seasonal Visions prop right there. And you can tell it works by just making the head go up and down. <laughs> and then, Back here, on the back of the skull, there's a little J piece that goes into that little piece right there. And then, there's a little hook. It's not really a hook, it's more of a pin that goes on that J piece right there. As you can see, I'm putting that in right there. And then that's going to hold the place in place when it moves. Taking a look at some of the detail here, you can see that these hands are really gross, green, and just creepy overall. Very gross. Same thing on the other side, it's kind of like a mirror kind of effect that they're going on. The head here looks super spooky. As you can see, it's kind of like the older zombie skeleton head mold. They've used this on props like the Twitching Corpse, the other corpse, I forgot what it was. Here's a picture of it. But we're just going to focus on this and you can see it's very nice you can see the skull comes through clearly on that whole green rotted flesh thing a truly terrifying skull if i do say so myself the clothes here kind of have a touch of detail to it it's not much but it does look very gross and decrepit and just rotten overall and i think it's absolutely perfect for this Grave Grabber here is a really awesome kind of graveyard prop. It's one of my favorites that I have in my little collection that I have. It's super effective and it gets the job done pretty well too. It's a really awesome prop actually. I really like this. This is definitely one to pick up if you're able to. It's simple, it's scary, and it's a zombie. If you like my content, make sure to push the like button. I'm not going to jump scare you all this time. Or am I? Nah, I'm just kidding. And subscribe too to keep it spooky. We are near 500 subscribers. If y'all want to help me get to that 500 subscriber mark, that would be awesome. I love having y'all around. Y'all are really awesome. And I guess that's about it. Until the next time, I'll see you guys around. Mm.